Hey everybody, Asher here, back with even more Star Sector 95A update where we are running around in deep space with our transponder on, like a moron. But that's fine because we don't really have a lot that we have to do. We don't have a lot of missions that are currently accepted. I mean, we have a few, but not a lot of them are on like a timetable here. So we're going to do a little bit more exploring until somebody tries to knock, knock, knock at our door. We currently have two colonies. One is bleeding some cash, but hopefully we can prop it back up on its pe peat. Feet is the word I'm looking for, especially once refining comes online. Um, other colony, Pelesius, is doing a fantastic job. I'd love to turn off hazard pay soon because that will give me a lot of money. Maybe once I get up to growth five, we'll see how that goes. So right now defenses are good. I really do need to upgrade some of my infrastructure here, but for now I'm going to have to kind of go wide on colonies because there's a lot of things I want to do. And as someone pointed out in the comments, I'm going to have to be a little careful if I don't want to attract ludic path attention for where I spread out some of my things on colonies. Maybe I don't care as much about a ludic path very much, but regardless, where is our plan today? Our plan today actually starts with, I just hit the missions button instead of the exploration. We have so many explorations over here. But we have a domain uh, survey ship that we were just pointed to over here. And we have a bunch of stuff that we actually have not explored. Okay, maybe I'm not going to check out the brown dwarf. But these planets look good. And then we have another thing over here. It looks like a rich ore deposit. So we have a yellow star that we haven't explored. We have uh, Alpha Both, which we did visit. And uh, we have an orange star here. So maybe we just kind of do a loop over here depending on uh, where our supplies go. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff over here that I'd also love to visit, but one thing at a time, gotta try to kinda narrow my focus a little bit. So let's turn off that transponder, let's do the transverse jump, and let's resume the game. Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, no, we have a uh, salvage here, in fact. Um, I didn't actually try to revive the ship. I wonder if this completely interrupted my um, transverse jump. It didn't. Wow, you can salvage and transverse jump. So what are we going to do? Uh, if we're going to go over here, we don't fly in a straight line. We can just fly to the right. And uh, our fleet is slightly over cargo capacity. Whoops. We'll be fine. We're going to be burning some supplies while we make some repairs. But the goal here again is maybe while we do some exploration, hopefully we run into... Ooh, good sunrise repairing damage degraded shields. That's a... Uh, <gasps> That's it. The ship's done. Oh man, remember when this had three uh, D mods and now it has no D mods? Um, I'm not going to refit it right now. But man. Man, I have to really think pretty hard about. I know auxiliary thrusters is important. ECCM package is important. Expanded crew deck's important. I would really love to add hardened shields. I don't think I can make it work, but I'd love to add it. I'd have to like rearrange probably what I'm doing with the fighters to replace like my bombers with broadswords but that is uh, that's some good stuff there I mean I know once again there's some not just meme strats but actual strats for running derelict fleet let's make sure we're not missing okay that's the yellow star we passed by beta both we can maybe try that on the way actually let's see it my oh okay feels fine we only care about this large branch out here but usually there's good stuff when you get to a system all the way out here. So, I mean, maybe this thing's just gonna disappoint us like crazy. But do we have a derelict survey location? It was last seen orbiting a barren world in the Epsilon Hakar, or Hakrad Hack station. I'm gonna um, out myself as a wild player if I keep calling it Hakar. Um, so, Harkad. Get the southern twang on it real quick. All right, so we found a, something right away. Oh my god, a, wow. Okay, um, what was I saying before about having, uh, struggling so hard to find good colonies here with multiple habitable worlds and systems here, and it was all desert worlds that sucked. I said before it would all be pushed out to the corners, and here we are, surrounded by a Dominion Air, or Domain Era Probe, a Terran world, and a, uh, water world. I don't know if either of these have, um, ruins on them, but we're going to perform a survey anyway, because that's pretty much five supplies for money. So let's see here, common organics, low gravity, so actual slight hazard, but better accessibility. That's a class four, no ruins. Don't want to accidentally colonize it though. Oh, we just ran into a uh, 
we just ran into a ring twice. Okay, here's Waterworld. Um, Waterworlds are not quite as exciting, especially when um, they have violent storms all over them. But this is another good planet. Maybe there's ruins here, maybe there's not. Abundant Organics, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Um, no ruins, which is a little unfortunate, but let's see what the probe is. Surely something good will come of this. The barren world, I think, is where we want to try to dig into. Let's zoom in the map a little bit. Um, there's two. There's a barren, bombarded world, and maybe there's some stuff floating around in this empty space. Maybe there's something near the star. Let's see what the probe has. It has a plentiful volatiles location. All right. Um, it's stuff, and uh, obviously we can double tap this, as is the rule. And uh, we're gonna go. Almost to supply cap. I maybe feel a little bad about not running other stuff here, but we have a plentiful volatiles here at the uh, at an ice giant some distance away from the center of this star system. So there's plentiful volatiles. There's always volatiles in the black hole system. I guess I guess we knew that. There's there's a joke there, but nobody. Will. Oh, okay, we got a p big pink contact over there. I'm assuming that's what we're looking for. Um, any other scans? Oh, we got ooh, we got a contact over here, contact up here from the looks of it. So we got maybe three more things to knock out, maybe more. All right, so there's a domain era survey ship and another probe. Okay, well we're gonna um, take these on. So ooh, it doesn't seem to have any defenses either. Um, oh shit. Okay, that sucks a little bit. What's going on here is that we have um, we have some bad news bears going on. That being that this is what we were pointed towards, and I was hoping this would point us to a mothership, and that is not the case. It has instead pointed us towards not much. Okay, so probe here. Um, probe also not pointing us to anything. So oh, okay, we're gonna. We're in a little bit of trouble. Well, at least we're getting supplies. We're not needing all these metals, so... Thank you, Control Click Team. Let's see if we got anything on this side of the star. We'll just do a ping up here. Like, oof. Okay, just lots of debris fields over there. So, I'm not gonna search all the way around the outer rim. Maybe there is a mining station or something that I'm missing, but usually the game's pretty good about, um saying when stuff is actually present. Um, oh man, the memory bank's been scrubbed clean by hard radiation. Seems to be a common theme for uh, stuff that we find floating in close art orbit to a star, so... Um, I didn't double tap it, that's a mistake. Hopefully we don't pay for it. And what do we got down here? Kind of our last gasp. It's Yet another probe. Let's see if we got anything else over here. No, not really. Okay. Well, we're not going to linger too long because you can see this. Ooh, we got automated defenses. This might, this might lead to good things. Um, we are going to try not to overdo it with what we use to engage the automated defenses. I think 133 supplies, probably enough. I could throw the second legion or the astral out here, but this should be fine. All right, like, we just want to buddy up. Um, oh, wait, no, we don't want to buddy like that. No, 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 no. All right, I've already messed things up, and we're only 10 minutes into the video. Wow, we're already 10 minutes in. Time flies when you're uh, failing to find anything. All right, well, we have a lot of points available on the table, and so do they. So uh, here I am trying to follow through with you all's advice too, even though we're getting swarmed by a bunch of stuff. Not put myself in a position where I'm overloading my supply chain here. So let's go ahead and drop you on here. Like my hope is that you're guarded because you got good stuff. So there's one down, two to go. Just recall these buddies. Like, you guys are not hitting super hard, but I do have to be mindful of my flux. Okay, so you just threw your defensive thing. Whoa! That was, 
was missiles right in there, so barely hit that vent on time. I'm going to try to keep the ballistics from hitting me with um, other stuff. Still feel pretty bad about venting right in front of a griffin. That's one of the dumber things I've done in a while. So I will uh, accept the main tank roll here. And surely, um, surely we're tanking here. Who, surely? That was, that was terrible. These are not point blank weapons. Um, so let's see, you guys, I just need to throw some command points over there just to force you all to get moving. I do not want these guys to backside me. And we've got some really good ships that can do some pretty good work and, I mean, we're taking a, we're taking a lot of damage. But the, the big threats are gone. So if I just have to, if I just have to take some hits... Just take the hits. All right, easy enough. So look at that, not having to uh, fight so hard. Maybe we'll get some AI cores out of this. That'd be really nice. But yeah, now we just have two little buddies left. I mean, I mean, technically, this is called a different kind of ship. It's a warden or a Bastillion. Or a defender, but we'll call them my buddies. Because everybody's a friend when you're uh, the AI control here. Like, we could get a uh, Bastillion. It just comes, kind of seems to be like a flare ship. Not very exciting. Okay, three AI cores, which is good. This is just going to take everything, and we're going to do the dump metals here. I'm carrying a bunch of stuff that I've grabbed from other places, like a lot of domestic goods. A lot of metals. I'm very flexible with what I end up keeping, what I end up dumping here. But the goal is to come back with a bunch of other stuff because you can see I am. Uh, the money situation is a little bit of a problem. We actually got a lot of experience too. So let's begin the. Oh, what? So we approach the probe, but the probe doesn't have any info? Ugh. That sucks. So, um, we got pointed in the direction of a bunch of nothing. Maybe some of these other systems will uh, bear fruit. Alright. I mean, technically we could uh, transverse jump, but why? We're right here. So let's see. We got an Orange Star, Beta, Harkad, uh, and then we have this place that we know there's a Volatiles. We have an Orange Star, and then I think we hop over to Both. There is another Orange Star up here. And a blue giant. Those could be good. And then, then we're starting to get back into some of the northeast sections I've been to before. So we'll see kind of what the uh, supply run does. Like, see, we're not repairing like 80-something supply per everything. So we should be able to get back down there in a hurry. So this has, this has a decent number of planets. There may be some good stuff around here. Oh my gosh, it prepared structural damage. Okay, so suddenly we're wasting time not bringing more uh, derelict fleets here. I guess I need to start bringing the Conquest. So I saw a ping over here, and there's another ping down to the southwest. There's a barren world and a barren world. and a... This is not the happiest orange star I've ever seen in my life. So there's a probe. Let me guess, it's been blasted by radiation, right? Huh. <laughs> It's been scrubbed clean by hard radiation. So apparently proximity to a star is a bad plan. I'll get some volatiles though. Ooh, I didn't mean to drop all of those. Um, control click. What am I doing that's different here? Oh, I guess I'm not actually above cap right now because I use supplies for repairs. Okay, that would be that would be a reason. I didn't double tap again. But we have ruins on this barren world, so we got a survey and we got another probe. So let's give it a shot. Explore. Ugh. All the empty probes. Every every single one. Oh, we got some transplatonics here. Double tap this time because that's that's how we play. Yeah, this is this is pretty much uh, everything's coming up empty so far, but we know we know there's ruins here. So five supplies. Ruins can have lots of stuff. Extensive ruins, even. Okay. Explore. There's ships. We want none of these. 
All right, salvage time. Um. Ooh, alpha core. Okay, that's good. And we can just dump some of this. So, we've got we've got a whole collection of AI cores now. We just need to find an AI ship that we're willing to do things with. Definitely don't start a colony here. Anything else that I'm missing? No, then let's just get the F out. All right. So get in, get out. Didn't double tap like I could have, but see, we're we're losing seventy thousand per. I have I have a lot of collateral, and that's good. But I don't. I just I don't have anywhere to sell it. So let's see. We know we know there's plentiful volatiles here. Let's go to uh let's go to Polo. Kind of try to drop in the middle here. Usually, what I'm finding is that there's less research stations around black holes. Maybe there used to be. Uh oh. So we got some debris fields over here. We got the black hole itself. This is not a promising start. Look at you. It's a nice giant. We know your your volatiles for days. All right. Anything over here? Okay. We're gonna try to sneak by these debris fields. We don't even have like pirates coming through here. I don't think I picked this place clean before. No, there's no way I didn't go this far east. So we're just um. We're just having still life with Cooley here. It's a very positive, better than Ezra song. Much more positive than this black hole. All right. Do we transverse jump out of an event horizon? Is that something that you can do? Doesn't seem to be very advisable, but I am a little concerned about my supply count. So we're gonna maybe jump from the accretion disk unless we find something. Oh, it sucks. Um. I think we came from the outer system jump point, so yeah, let's just let's just get out of here. We know this is here in case stuff comes up. Wait, okay, so I was gonna say, is the accretion disk blocking us from doing that? Maybe. And each of those transverse jumps is biting into my supply count, so I can't afford to be as lazy as maybe I want to be. All right, so ooh, uh, I guess we'll take a quick look. There could be some probes or something here, but this is. This is where orange stars, sometimes they're really good and sometimes they really suck. I think we have, oh, there's Terran World here. Um, do we have anything else other than the Terran World? Like, look at this, just some of these planets could have spawned way closer. Um, that one has some ruins from the looks of it, it has a little bit of junk around it. Let's see, decivilized, cool. All right, abundant organics, adequate farmland. Okay, so scattered drones. They've probably already been picked clean by the uh, other people that live. Oh, God. Can we turn those? We're just stealing people's food now. Seriously. These metals are actually worth more than that, which kind of sucks a little bit. We'll keep the organics. We'll keep some of the food. All right, this is fine. Definitely don't want to establish a colony, although that's not a terrible planet. Um, okay, instead of using my supplies with yet another ill-advised transverse jump, let's just pop back out here and kind of cut our losses. So, but I mean, that's that's part of exploration. You go and you just kind of say to yourself, well, this, this didn't really work out. Um, you know, I'm looking over here. There may be some breaks. I can kind of take a direct line. Let's give it a shot. If I can take a direct, ooh, that's that's kind of scary. I can take a direct line. Oh, that's that's not the direct line I wanted at all. Okay, well, we got there faster. So let's let's look at this again. We have Beta Both, which is a yellow star, and we have Alpha Both, which we've already been to. Let's check the yellow star first. The yellow star almost has nothing on it. Let's check our okay. Our fuel situation still good. So, let's do the inner system jump point. Really surprised that there's not like a bunch of pirates and shit floating around here, but this is a, uh, this is, um, okay, colony growth five for Plizius. That's great. Let's take a look here real quick. I'm not going to build anything yet because I don't want to bankrupt myself, but it looks like farming is going to be our next move here. And that'll give us just a little bit more credits per month. If I take off the hazard pay... Oh. 
God, that's one of the things that sucks about having to colonize all these things. So I guess I'm keeping hazard pay on for now until I can bump up that growth just a little bit. Okay, well, maybe another industry will help. We're not really short on anything. Maybe there's there's maybe some better ways to increase my um, stuff here. Do I fly? I guess I, I guess I should fly down here. We are tearing through supplies again, though. Ugh, this is this is unfortunate. I mean, we have enough to get back. All right, so, but that was that was a pretty hard run through the um, belt. So maybe we just check the uh, one more system here, the Orange Star, and see kind of what we can get. Is we're uh, we're bleeding money fast. So let's see. Okay, there's at least some planets here, and we have some more gravity wells. So. Maybe there's something going on here. Let's give it a shot. Gamma Both, save us. Oh my god, that's a lot of pings. Okay. There's a sensor contact here, contact here. Okay. We hit a jackpot, I guess. What's up here? Um, okay, that is a probe. And it looks like there's a desert world. Which maybe has some other stuff. Do we have anything else? We have another sensor contact up here. That's another probe. Okay, plentiful volatiles location. We are just going to take the salvage, take all the supplies that we can. Um, yeah, we're not over cat. Double tap. And uh, still barely not over cat. Oh, okay, we got we got some deep space stuff over here. Okay, well, we know the probe's there, so let's uh, kind of just circle about a little bit. All right, pi oh, seriously, guys. All right, pirate activity. Pirates just trying to ruin our fun. Um, targeting colonies, we're already losing accessibility and stability. So apparently, apparently we missed the warning where the pirates were coming for us. They're just here now. Well, hi, pirates. You caught us while we're far away. Okay, that's a survey ship. Let's see what we got here. Explore. Oh, shit. Okay, derelict domain era mothership. Um, that's good. Plus, we can salvage for supplies, and this seems to have a lot. Okay, so this is what I was hoping... Oh, we got a beta core, too. Nice. Um, get that down. Double tap. And uh, we're going to take all again. Drop you, and we're going to immediately pause, go to our intel screen, and say, there is a mothership. We definitely have a fleet that can take on a mothership. Where is it? So plentiful volatiles. We don't care. Uh, while exploring a domain era survey ship, your crews found a partially accessible mothership. It was last seen. Ooh, the survey ship orbiting an irradiated world in the Gamma Both. Oh, okay. So we are we're here. All right, that's that's good. All right, so irradiated world. So apparently it's right down there, and we have a jungle world as well. So this is where the good systems are. Okay, and we got a ping down here too. So let's do it. We got 500 supplies. My supply issues seem to have dissipated a little bit. We have ground defenses building up. Oh, okay, we got another ping over here. We got oh my god, we got pings all over the place. Let's go up here. Okay, we got debris here, stuff down there. We got the irradiated world. Oh shit, we know we know the irradiated world has something. Let's do that first. So we'll just try to remember everything. This is okay. I see nothing. Um, exploration, please. Mothership. Last seen by the survey ship orbiting a irradiated world in the Gamma Both system. Is there another? There is another irradiated world. Cool. Okay, then I guess we go and see what the ping is over there and see what these sensor contacts are. All right. And um, that's just another debris field, right? That's cargo pods. Even better. And is that... Is that another thing? I'm, I'm seeing just crap now. Okay, just more cargo pods. I need to not get 
so um, excited here. Okay, um, we have, oh. Okay, we have our first uh, cryo sleeper, Calypso. This is one of the massive vessels of legend which transported millions of human immigrants from the core systems of the domain into the great frontier, stretching from the Sagittarius arm across the Orion Spur. So here's a little bit of our story context of where the hell we are in the game. Judging by the weak but stable EM read on the sensors, many of the sleeper caskets remain viable even after so many hundreds of cycles here in the wild shores of the Perseus arm. All right, so let's take a closer look. And we can explore, and that looks scary. You know, my supplies are a little low. We know there's a mothership here, so since that's marked on our map now, very conveniently. Let's see if the jungle world has anything, and we'll kind of work our way back down. Because I'd rather fight the mothership first. We should be able to knock that out. Those usually have quite a few supplies. And then we can pay that a visit as well. It's just one ship. It shouldn't be too bad. But at the same time, it's a big scary ship. So I'd rather hedge my bets. All right. So moderate or... So look at this. We, we went from... Oh, wow. Actually, no ruins. Well, what kind of... Uh plan is that we have another probe because everything's a probe this probe has defenses like i said we know there's a mothership let's do the mothership first okay anything else that we're missing there's a lot of crap in deep space here okay um that's near a star wonder if that one's burned out too oh shit okay um I, I love it because I'm recording late at night and that noise always makes me go like, what, what, huh, what happened? Okay, so Tritachion doesn't like us now and we found yet another probe. Oh, and okay, there's a mothership and a level up from the looks of it. So let's see here. Salvage. I didn't even care to check. It's like, I found the mothership. Let's just get through this crap. And a uh, gamma core just for fun. Double tap. All right. So there's that. All right, so there's a mothership. Uh, you're orbiting what? Um, is there like a second mothership in here? Well, we'll check and see what this is, and we'll go down just to make sure. But this is this is what we've been looking for. I mean, I'm hoping there's a pristine Nana Forge in here. That this used to be what I'd hunt for specifically to find one. So we'll see how that goes. So explore. It's the mothership. Here's all of its defenses. We're going to engage them. We're not going to transfer command, and we're going to throw the whole kitchen sink at it. I know. I know. There's little voices talking in the back of my head on stream saying, don't send everything. You will need to save your supplies. That's probably true, but this is like one of our, this is like one of our goals that can kick us up over the edge. And we should be able to take this on. I, I kind of like how the buddy system is working for uh, these guys. So we'll put you together. We'll keep a uh, we'll keep an apogee over here. So we have two dominators together. We have some aggressive apogees together. Honestly, since these guys don't have shields, this fight shouldn't be as much of a problem with the team that I have. But I don't want to take any chances. And maybe I don't want to outrun my support. So there's there's the old mothership. Usually what I like to do is just pick a side and funnel everybody to that side. So we'll see kind of where the big stuff comes from here. All right, so lots of sensor contacts. There's our big ships. Once again, because these are shieldless ships, I'm not really like looking to get anything okay oh you are you're you are aggressive to almost the point of being reckless you've just decided to give that uh space station a big old hug and now you're trying to back off okay well how about this how about we put you guys over here how about we put you all over here and since the uh rest of our fleet's kind of going up here and put you guys over there. I actually just gave him a waypoint. Here's the little command frequency thing. I appreciate uh, being told how this works. And we'll see if we can kind of work out over the right-hand side. So give everybody something to do. There is um, there's a lot of little ships to fight. 
and uh, we're doing okay so far. Let's see if I can just get first blood here real quick. There we go. So regroup. Dude's gonna, like I said, individually these guys are not too much of a threat. It's just like this big clump getting them all together, which the Astral's really, it's trying its best to keep up. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I don't think I'm, okay, I got, I got one little dude on the backside here. Which is a little annoying. And we got a bunch of other ships over here too, so. And a bunch of fighters or something coming off this. Okay, that's that's a, actually a really good harasser here. All right, so you're dead. Regroup. What's our other legion doing? It looks like it looks like you guys are just having some good old-fashioned fun. Um, let's put you up here. And it looks like this side's already almost taken care of. So it looks like everybody went left. Should be able to sneak in a quick vent here. Of course, I'm getting fired on by the stupid station. Can we get our shields up, please? Any day now? Okay. So, our forces are doing fantastic. I do happen to have a uh, big old dead spaceship flying right at me, so that's... It's a little bit of a problem. I would rather fire missiles by now. That's a that's a good shot. All right, so we got it. We got to watch our flux. We got to pretty much watch everything here. That's a ton of missiles. How are we doing over here? We haven't suffered any losses, I don't think. So that's good. Our our AI pilots are doing a good job, kind of sticking together. And I just vented at the wrong time. Hopefully my fighters can take this out. That's that's a lot of damage. Huh, not as much as I expected. Alright, I think I can just gun this down. Okay. Maybe not. Thank you, sports squad. Okay, we gotta back this we gotta back this party up because we're about to get a ion here. Okay, so, look at this. You guys can take this on. I think I want you starting to fight the base. And we don't really want you running away. We want you to um, be aggressive and hunt down these guys in the back. So, right now, their mothership's actually almost dead. We're just having to take out the support. I think at this point I just go for the missile strategy here, right? There we go. Apogee's combat readiness is degrading, but our fleet is certainly doing a good job here. We do have a big nasty laser that's probably about to get taken out. Oh man, there we go. Alright, who's left? We got one dude over here. It's probably about to eat it. Let's help with that situation. So the mothership's down. Just accidentally missiled the crap out of that guy, so that's fine. Oh, <laughs> just all the, all the shit firing everywhere. I love it. Okay, so fleet's defeated. I don't think we suffered a single loss. No, we didn't. Awesome. Awesome job. Like, just really proud of everybody. Consider ship recovery. Huh, the rampart. Um, let's take a look anyway. I'm, like I said, since these guys don't have shields, it's a little hard for me to think of a place where I want to deploy them because they always feel a little squishy in my part, but, um, armaments, cannons, missile launchers, auto cannons. I think the answer is still no. So I've had that skill to recover for a while and I haven't been using, ooh, that is another alpha core. No nanoforge though, but lots of supplies. We're, we're obviously taking all of this. And uh, what's what's the cheapest stuff that we have? I wish I could sort by like price. Um, food's pretty cheap, so let's give the food back up. That's ores, because these domestic goods we can flip on the market pretty well. All right, so here we go. So fleet finishes, and oh wait, no, now we can salvage the mothership. So. There's supplies. There's the there's the supplies we wanted. 
All right. Bunch of stuff I can't take with. Really? Game. Okay, so I'm clearly I'm not getting a Nana Forge here. I mean, this this will sell for money, but I guess this just means I need to uh, pay the hegemony a visit and say, uh, give me your stuff. Okay, so just dump these for now. I mean, we're going to... I mean, it's, it's good in that we can repair it. It's just... It's good for a lot of reasons. It's just not what I'm not what I'm looking for. I mean, I have I have a lot of stuff. Thought I had a Nana Forge somewhere. Did I get rid of it? I don't know. I probably stored it back at the colony. All right, so double tap. Not gonna recover. All right, so repairs are completing. That's going pretty well. Okay. All right, so we have a Rampart drone as well. Um, we're just going to begin salvage here. Okay, so kind of a dud of a mothership. I mean, we got a lot of supplies. We got a lot of levels. I think we actually gained a level. Yeah, we did. We got a skill point. Oh god, now I have to think about which one do I want. System expertise or missile missile, bleh, missile specialization. Oh, oh god, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to do this today. I want to have industrial planning and put all industry supplying plus 1 again. Um I mean, technically I could go down here and start looping back over getting like sensors or getting helmsmanship, which actually doesn't seem so bad, but it's funny, I got the skill and I'm not even using it right now. I mean, I can give myself 30 seconds additional operating time or I can give myself even more missiles. <sighs> Guess I'll do systems expertise. But I'm not gonna do it elite yet because I'd love to hear from you all if I'm gonna continue piloting a legion instead of something like some of the other ships that I've gotten, like e.g. the um, Paragon here. I think for the Paragon, we you don't want missile specialization for it, so we'll think about it. So, that's done. I wonder if we have another mothership down here. So cargo pods, cargo pods, cargo pods. This is literally just stuff we can't take with us, so interesting all right we have another we have another thing down here so we're gonna let ourselves get some repairs going a little bit we have another probe so let's see what's going on here Ooh, gamma core oh okay so we're not over the cap yet again so that's plenty of supplies but clearly the um, the pool of items getting diluted with all the colony stuff means that a pristine nano forge is a much more of a big get all right so here's those well we have a shit ton of supplies which means you know what it would be a real it would be really great for me to just keep exploring if I didn't have to deal with the stupid tri tac coming after me, so. Okay, we got some more stuff beyond this storm. We got some cargo pods here. Um, that planet doesn't look like, you can see the little debris flying outside. It doesn't look like it has, um, did I discover another probe? I did and I don't even know where I discovered it, cool. Yeah, it's like I have the supplies to keep exploring. Yeah, look at, look at you not orbiting that. Alright, what's here? Probably another probe. Alright. Okay, so we have uh, we have lots of supplies. I didn't double tap again, so I'm getting a little careless. I hate that kind of, but we've left cargo pods everywhere. Debris fields everywhere. We've just made a big mess of space. Yeah, I guess that's the other thing. We need to get home just so we can sell shit. 
So let's hear. Was this the one that had? Yeah, we can take on those defenses pretty easily. But I've got a, I've got a date with somebody else real quick. Let's go up here. Everybody just, everybody just keeps inviting themselves over. All right. Well, um, a somewhat weak one fleet, thirty days. I mean, I guess, I guess as much as I want to keep exploring, we've got to go home at some point. So this is going to be Calypso Cry Sleeper. Let's fight the big thing. Hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe I can get a Guardian with this skill. That would be awesome. All right, we're going to bring everything again because this time we have a bunch of supplies. And um, yeah, let's do this. Um, we're going to keep the Condor on me. We're going to keep this on you. Um, buddy system again. Buddy system's fine. Cool. Let's try not to get anybody trashed here. Because it's one shit, but I have a feeling it's going to be just as hyper-aggressive as anything else. Oh god, I just rear-ended my falcon. That's that's not a great way. Okay, well. Oop, there it is. Let's zoom out. Oh, what a thing of beauty. Okay, it has a plasma cannon, locust, SRM. Yeah, that's right, we can actually... Take a look and see what weapons it has from here. So it's going really fast. It's firing a lot of shots. That's um that's impressive firepower. It actually is running shields. Let's actually get a little bit closer because I don't want the apogee to be the one just having all the fun here. Oh, this seems like an opportune time for a screenshot. I, I hate that all of my stuff always seems to like go like right next to each other, but this is fine. Look at that! Got it kind of overloaded already. Maybe that's a better shot, I don't know. Y'all y'all can enjoy bearing with me, right? Alright. It's a lot of print screen buttons here. Alright. You know what, why, are, why aren't we attacking this? Why aren't we attacking this? Why aren't we attacking this? So we've got the surround on already. Okay, now we've got a two ships blocking my shots here. So I guess we just fire more missiles. Wow, look at that. It it had had no chance. And the Guardian's disabled. I might be able to get it. Disabled or destroyed. Pick through. Oh, well. Well, maybe I can't. I don't know. Pick through the wreckage. Yeah. So 54... And we get uh, more story points as your fleet finishes the automated defenses we can approach. The Cry Sleeper, and here it is. Cry Sleeper, which has changed a little bit in the update, but still, with fear within 10 light years of the location, you can benefit from a big population boost, assuming you can keep organics in here. Do you have anything else? No, it's just literally how far how far away is 10 light years? That's literally 24 light years. So we didn't find a lot of shit here. That was a good system. That wasn't a good system. That had some stuff. So maybe over here? Like, yeah. Fairly exciting. Um, let's see. So we have a lot of repairs going on. That's all very good, but I think it's very important here if we just go ahead and get home, and I think it's probably better. We don't want to, like, destroy ourselves by, like, getting Solar Storm to death. So I think maybe we just plot a course and go this way. I'd love to explore over here. Once again, these are, like, that's within 10. And I think the ability to grades once you go past 5, I'd have to double check. But that's... Maybe if I like made want to make a colony cluster here later, I can. But it's one of those interesting Fyrick victory things. It's like we we found the cryo sleeper, but it doesn't really do much for us other than we found it. Can't even take the big ship with us. So engage the automated defenses. Who's who's ready for this? 
This will be fine. Can probably just even send everybody on their way, but we'll do the uh, this time not having the Apogees take the lead. And we just have one battleship and a bunch of cruisers. This should be a uh, pretty good blowout here. I can't believe I've never refitted that Eagle. But yeah, I need to go home anyway just to get some other ships that I can take away the D mods on. Alright, so you all are really trying your best. It's not it's not going very well for you though. That's a little more threatening. Should have probably paid a little more attention to who was coming at me next. Alright, so I'm gonna play the main tank role and hopefully not get destroyed. That'd be really embarrassing. Like, look at all the stuff I got, and then suddenly I got surrounded by a bunch of jerks. And they just said, you know what, we're uh we're just gonna gang up on you like a bunch of jerks. Okay, so that should delete that. And then we got a bunch of little guys here, so yeah, this is um this is not threatening at all. Alright. Like we got a bunch of little guns, and that's that's certainly a cool story, bro, but did those missiles just fire at nobody? Yeah, let's send the fighter squad. Okay, you're dead, right? There we go. Fighters on you. We're actually not fluxed out, so let's vent. Take just tiny damage from tiny missiles. Like, these guys have the right idea. They're getting behind me. You want to get behind the Legion. You take advantage of the Legion's lack of maneuverability to make it work, but it looks like our little pew pew boats are going to be finishing up the game here. Oh, I was hoping for a better shot. There we go. Oh, look, there's there's our uh, Dominator pushing hard. Nice to see the AI appropriately using uh, auto jets here. So maybe, maybe this will give us some data to go somewhere. We're not going to recover any of those. Okay, so it gave us three cores, but it didn't give us much more. All right, well, we found a mothership, but the mothership didn't give us a lot. But... But we found it, so that's part of the joy of exploration. We're also almost broke, so I think what it's probably time to do. Uh, the expedition's forces are outmatched and its ground forces are evenly matched. The expedition is likely defeated in orbit, so okay, so that's not much of a threat. We just need to do it so that we can get there, so let's fly home. That's fine. This is this has been fun, if a little disappointing to get yet another um, cryo thing, but at the same time we got a lot of experience and some more story points because we need to take more fights. And I've got loot to sell, which is important because I need to build up some more colonies here. You know what? I got a little bit of money now. <laughs> Apologies for the sneeze there. Not a lot I can do about that. I'm very sorry. Um, net income. Oh, it's because of the stupid pirates. All right. If we turn off hazard pay for a second. Growth is still lower. Oh, it sucks. I got a big tick in my throat now. So we need to find out where the pirate activity is <coughs> stop the shipping disruption we have local supplies we can drop off all right well <coughs> I hate this it's like one nasty sneeze <coughs> did I just go the wrong way I did okay great I distract myself just a moment <coughs> and start coughing all over the place and now we've got to just 
fly inappropriately through this. We're gonna hit. We're hitting. We're trying to hit the S. Look at that. Look at that crap. This is this is why you all tell me to uh, hit the S key to go through here a little bit better. So we're gonna fly down here. We're gonna fly the way I'm used to flying here. <coughs> like, see, we just explored a little too long. And now we've forgotten how to do basic things like fly through space. All right. So the nice thing about all these supplies that I had is that I just got hit by a bunch of storms and burned through them like hell. All right, so now that we're here, it looks like the map says to go over to the left and then down. That seems fine. We just kind of want to get here in time, but yeah, I mean, we made it to the corners of the universe. Looks like we haven't been to all of these places either, so. But I did say I kind of want to block out the four corners, but I think maybe my strategy now that we've gone through um, some, some exploration runs is that I definitely need to sell my spoils. Uh, get rid of some of my spoils, but I think I really should like start trying to go after say one of the red zones just for like fixing up my uh, using my remnant skill to try and get one of the remnant ships or maybe two of the remnant ships. I've gotten some great comments about ship recommendations, but if I'm not careful I'm gonna run out of money here before I can even sell something. Before I can even set up farming, that's embarrassing. Well, regardless, we do have we do have enough fuel to fly really far, so that's fantastic. And um, we do have we do have some work to do. We have a giant ass bounty over here. Oh man, all that good stuff. We have a slightly more manageable bounty over here at this very disappointing pair of stars. Um, we have a bounty up here. Sorry for the voice crack, but where we want to go is over here. I'm pretty sure that's where um, my poor third legion is. Could probably take that one. I have to think about it, though, because first thing we gotta do is play defense. Second things we got the second thing we gotta do is sell. So this should be this should be us. Like, I just don't want to lose the money. Alright, so there is uh, us. And how far... Okay, so... Independent smuggler from Pelesius to Umbra. Let you know that an independent smuggler is preparing a voyage and will soon depart for Umbra. 11 days till departure on the outward trip Umbra fleet will carry... Organics, domestic goods, recreational drugs, and luxury goods. On the trip back, the fleet will carry marines. It's noteworthy because it's carrying valuable goods. So, if one comes to an unfortunate end, as so often happens in our line of work, it's unlikely to cause a response. So, we could totally take on a pirate smuggler if we wanted to. But yeah, I've got... The nice thing is that I've got a lot of shit to sell. I've just got to get to a place where I can sell it. And it looks like... I have one of these already. Let's just look here real quick. It's easier if I uh, walk and talk. So like if we look at uh, our actual storage down here. Okay, so I did put a corrupted Nana Forge down here. So at least we have that. Have I not stored any of my AI cores anywhere? I mean, I could technically throw an alpha core in to um, try to manage my colony, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to sell a lot of these. We're going to save these alpha cores, at least one of them for ship piloting. Um, so that's fine. Let's drop all these weapons in here as well. That's a lot of really good weapons. That's a, that's a, that's a lot of gear. That I could sell some of this just to make some money. But I'm not that desperate. All right, so selling the Cobra Wing, Hurricane Merv, Storm Needler, 
I'm not really excited to sell some of those, but like I'm a little shocked here because I'm pretty sure I have one of these already. So I'm going to store another one of these just to make sure. I have a feeling that there's like one storage area and one of the colonies that I haven't actually pulled this stuff out of yet. Unless I like got raided and stuff got stolen, which would be hilarious and a little sad. Um, if that's the case, I guess I can always get it back because I really thought I dropped a bunch of uh, stuff down here. Well, I guess play and learn if that's the case, but we'll just confirm this. And you know what? I'm I'm pretty good on time. Um, talking about increased pirate raids, can you tell me where the pirate are? Give you a thankful look. And um, 11 light years away for a thousand credits per frigate. Hell no. I just want to know where the pirates are coming from. But hey, that's going to be it for this one. I do, like I said, I need to upgrade a bunch of shit, but I also need to like actually figure out where maybe some of my inventory is. Because I thought I, I thought I dragged it all back here, and it'd be hilarious if it ended up getting raided and taken away. Because that means I'm gonna have to get stuff again. So, I mean, it's fine if I do. I have uh, pirates coming over here, and um, the raiding forces are superior to the fleets defending the system. I guess so. If they're all coming from Don, I guess we paid Don a visit. So it looks like they're all here. These guys are here. These guys will be here soon. A uh, pretty good time to s stop so we can just get into some happy little pirate fights. So that's it for now. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like the video if you liked it. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Lament anything I might have lost or missed along the way. But we'll do this again soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.